Hello, my sweet friends, and welcome to Kinda Shabby. My name is Becky, and I am so glad you stopped by. And this week, I am continuing with my vendor market preparations, and we're going to be doing some sweet and simple paper crafts. We'll use scrapbooking paper and also some beautiful printables that I purchased from Etsy to create gift card holders and gift tags. Well, there is lots of fun in store today, so let's get these projects started. For our first project, we're going to be making these adorable gift card holders. Isn't that just the cutest little thing? I love these. And I saw Victoria from Old to Ooh La La on Facebook creating these, and I just knew I wanted to make a couple of these as well. I'm going to be using this stamp from the Iron Orchid Designs Cozy Stamp Collection to create my shape here, but you do not have to have this stamp collection in order to create this project. Simply Google coffee to go cup clip art and you'll find lots of different images there that you can use as a template for your coffee cup design. First, you're gonna need some scrapbooking papers or you can also use heavy card stock because that's going to make something just as cute. I'm using my black Iron Orchid Designs ink. You only want to ink up to here and not the whole thing, and I'll show you why that is in just a moment. Center up my design and press that down. And then you can see we've got that outline right here. And then we're just going to cut that out. And so that is going to be the bottom portion here. I'm gonna wipe this off down here. And I wanna use this for the lid. So now we're going to stamp this portion right here. And we're gonna cut that out. And I do find that scissors with smaller blades helps to get into these areas here around the details a little better than using something with large blades like this. And with our lid cut out and our base cut out, this is going to fit right over this little lip that we left right there. I'm going to be using my Art Glitter Glue and that's just the brand name. There is no glitter in this glue, but I love this because it has this extremely fine tip that really applies that glue with precision. So on this section right here, I'm going to be applying my glue. And then I'm going to glue these pieces together. So you've got several rungs here on your lid, and it is going to be on your third rung right here that you're going to be using an X-Acto or something sharp to be able to cut a slit into that to be able to place your gift card in. So I'm just going to use a gift card that I have, and then I'm going to make just a tiny little dot with some ink right here and here that we are going to go on this third rung right here and cut that out. And I'm just gonna flip this paper pad over and use the back of that to cut so I don't mess up my surface. Just like that. Test my card. And that does fit. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. And now we're gonna need a back. This green newsprint is very pretty, but I'm gonna turn it over this way. And isn't that gorgeous too? That would make a cute cup as well. And then I'm gonna trace around that and cut that out. I could also just stamp that again, but it's just as easy to trace it. At least it is to me. Again, we're gonna cut this out. So now we have our back. I want to test with my gift card one more time. And so the edge of my gift card comes about right here. 
So I'm gonna place a little bit of glue right there so my card doesn't slide to the bottom. And then I'm placing glue all around the outside of my little cup design here. And then we'll place our pieces together. Super duper duper cute. So I'm just gonna sit here and play around with papers and I'm gonna make a couple more of these and then we'll move on to our next project. So here are all of my cute little gift card holders and I took craft paper and I stamped to and from on there. And then I just took various colors of twine that I have here and just kind of made it look a little more cute. These are all the ones that I made here. And then these were my first that I made. Absolutely adorable. Just so much fun to make and they turn out so super cute as well. Well, let's go ahead and move on to our next project. For the tags, for my vendor market, I'm going to have several different color and style options for my customers to choose from. The pink Shabby Chic Christmas. Then I'm going to be doing this beautiful blue featuring these adorable little woodland animals. And then I'm going to be doing a retro look featuring the traditional red and green colors of Christmas. And I just think that these are going to be so adorable. And I've already pulled out a bunch of cute little things here for us to get started on our shabby chic. I printed off some beautiful digital Christmas papers that I purchased from Etsy and I will link all of this information for you below. I actually sent them back through the printer and printed these little tags on the other side. So first I'm going to just take my paper cutter here and cut all of these little tags out. So after cutting them all apart, I took this little paper punch here and what it does, it rounds those corners off and I just like the look that that gives. And they're looking cute already. Now the tags that I'm making today are not going to be as large, as thick, or as highly embellished as those that I've made in past videos. And that's going to save me time, but it's also going to save my customers money. I just love the little deer. I think they're so adorable. So I'm gonna start with some white puff paint. Just highlight some of the spots on our little fawn here. And I'm not gonna highlight all of the dots. Now right now, we're gonna be adding a couple of little of these pink rhinestones to some of these here as well. And I think little pink rhinestones at the center of these flowers on the Christmas tree is gonna look really cute. So I'm still using my fine tipped bottle of art glitter glue here into each of these little flowers here. And then you use this little tool here to pick up your rhinestone and you place it in your glue just like that and you pick the rhinestone up from the front so the back is exposed and that's what you place into your glue and i got all of this on amazon and i will link this for you below but you can see just how cute that is so i'm going to go ahead and do that same process and add my little rhinestones to the center of each of the flowers on my christmas trees I love how that looks on the little Christmas tree. Then I kind of went a little crazy with those. I love those little rhinestones. They all are so pretty. And the little tiny ones there in the middle of the flowers. Ah, I just love these. Well, now we're getting ready to use some glitter. And I'm going to outline the little antlers here. That is so super duper duper cute. I love it. And then put all of that excess back into my bottle here. 
So I've got a little bit of glitter on Santa's hat there that's really cute and some glitter on the presents there and I really like that. So now I am going to finish off all of my tags by gluing various little laces and trims at the bottom and then I snipped and ripped strips of pink chiffon and I'm going to use that as the ribbons at the top. So I'm just going to finish off the rest of my shabby chic tags just like that. And I think they are so beautiful. So I have all of my beautiful little shabby chic tags completed. And now we're going to go ahead and move on to our retro tags that have those traditional red and green colors of Christmas. On this first set, I cut a piece of scrapbooking paper down to eight and a half by 11 and I printed those out on the back of that. We're going to do something a little different using more scrapbooking paper on this second set. But again, we're going to start by cutting all of our tags apart. So now that they are all cut out, I'm going to continue using some glitter. I absolutely love glitter and I think Christmas is the perfect time to use that. But I'm not going to cover everything with it. I'm just going to add little touches of glitter here and there onto these little pieces. I'm thinking a couple of little dots of glue. It just adds the nicest little touch of some festive fun there. Add some red glitter to a couple of these little berries on this one. And again, just a fun little touch there. And that looks really pretty with that scrapbooking paper that I have on the back there as well. So I'm going to add my little glitter and then we're going to come back and get some more embellishments on the rest of our cards here. And they all look really cute with their little pops of glitter on there in certain little areas just to highlight those. I think those are really cute. And so now I'm going to take my pom-pom trim and I'm going to glue that to the bottom of these little cards. Absolutely adorable. And that's going to be the last embellishment that I do on the cards. And then I'm going to take my paper punch and round off the corners at the top here. I just think that the rounded edges look a little better on that. I hung them from my ruler to make them a little bit easier to see and they are just so, so super cute. I love how they turned out and again, they look adorable even from the back as well. And now we're going to take that same pattern, but we're going to do something just a little differently with these tags. And we're also going to use this gorgeous music sheet paper as well. So once again, I have cut apart my tags and I used my punch to round off those edges. I just like the way that looks. And then that is just our plain white cardstock on the back. I want to mount these tags on the paper and have just a little bit of that edge showing around each of my little tags here. So I think if I cut that strip at three inches wide, that is going to look really good. So I'm going to line up my paper at the three inch mark. I'm not exactly sure how long I want that to be just yet, but now I'm going to take that cardstock and put it evenly into my tag maker. I love this thing. Now, normally, your paper's only supposed to be two and a half inches wide, so it leaves those on either side. And I just take some scissors and trim that off. And that is going to be really cute. So that's actually four and three quarters long on this page right here. Then I'm taking this paper punch and that's going to make a beautiful decorative edge at the bottom here. Just like that. Put that in the middle and run my brayer over it. So I'm going to take these tags and mount them in the same fashion onto this scrapbooking paper. 
And now with all of those tags mounted onto the cardstock, I'm going to be taking some Christmas greenery and then highlight that with some of these cute little pom-poms to look like berries. And I'm going to glue them right in there so I still have room there to put my ribbon through the hole. I'm going to hold that with some tweezers because I definitely don't want to burn myself. And how cute is that? So I'm going to just use the greenery and the little pom-pom balls to highlight each one of my little tags here. And then that's what these look like with all the little greenery and pom-poms on there and the red ribbons attached to these. They are just so pretty. I love all of these traditional Christmas colors. They're just really, really beautiful. And now we're going to move on to our cute little woodland animals. For this particular download from Etsy, it literally has three zip files just full of such adorable little graphics here. And we've got this one. Some of these look like bookmarks. I'll be using some of the figures off of there and not that entire piece there. It has all of these beautiful little woodland creatures there. And this is just a backdrop that I'll be using for some of these. This is another backdrop with all of these cute little woodland creatures on there. I have nothing printed on the back of these. And then that's another one with all of the cute little winter wonderland and our little fox there. And I haven't printed anything on the back of those because we're going to use those to be cutting out some of our figures and mounting them onto our backer boards. And these are going to be just as adorable as the other little tags we have created as well. So to begin with, I'm just going to take a few minutes and cut out my pieces and then we'll get back to starting to assemble them. So I've got all of these cute little shapes cut out now. And then I took my favorite tag making paper punch and I did more of these using the background papers. Then I also took my three and a half inch punch here with the scalloped edge. I use that same design for all of these and that is going to be really, really cute. These are all the ones that look like they were bookmarks. And so I just cut those out and rounded off the edges to make those look a little nicer there. And for this little cutie background paper with the foxes on it, I used my two inch round punch and punched out a bunch of the little foxes and they're just adorable. So now let's go ahead and get our tags assembled. So I'm going to start by placing some of my little critters on my backdrops here and I'm also going to be using some of these foam dots to make that little image stand out from the background and give it more of a dimensional look there. And that's going to be really cute. I bought these off of Amazon and I'm using the smaller dots here, but they have these in many different sizes, so you can choose what's best for your crafting needs. So as I'm picking those off, this underside has adhesive on that, and that's what I'm sticking to my element here. You pull away that section, and it reveals the adhesive on the back of the dot as well. So it's a double-sided adhesive dot. And then I just need to decide where I want to place my little squirrel. That looks good. I'm just going to apply some pressure where my little dots were. And you can see how that just stands up away from the background. And that is really, really cute. So I'm going to do the same thing and put a few more of my little critters onto my little background papers here. And I put a little pom-pom on that bunny. These are all just so, so very cute. I just like how they give dimension to these little pieces here. And I put the pop dots on these as well. Just really cute. I'm gonna, you know, glue some pieces on. That'll look pretty on that one. I've also got some fake snow I'm gonna put on some of these. So I'm just gonna brush on a little bit of Mod Podge. 
sprinkle on some of that fake snow. That is so cute. So I'm just gonna go ahead and embellish some of these. And then I've also got some really pretty blue ribbon that I'm gonna put through there that's gonna accentuate those colors as well. I love that frosty winterland look. I think these are probably my favorites. Just so super duper cute. These little winter wonderland tags just turned out to be my favorite. I just love them. I like all the tags that I made, but these are just so, so super cute. So I'll put the blue ribbon on this style here. I didn't have enough of the blue ribbon, so I put white ribbon on these, and I'm just really, really pleased with how they turned out. And now all I need to do is spread them all out and give you a closer look at how cute all of this week's projects turned out.
you so much for joining me today. It has been my pleasure to craft with you. Please subscribe for more kind of shabby, but always chic, crafty inspirations. And until next time, my sweet friends, be blessed.